What's good YouTube? It's your boy Trevi Trev and I'm back with another video. I just woke up and you know I had this on my mind so I wanted to talk to, the, to you guys about this and basically kind of question you guys on well, basically, this video is basically against women. I'm not going to lie to you. This video is basically against women because constantly I see Brittany Renner and I see Krishan Rock in the news for nonsense. Never anything positive. Never anything positive. Never anything positive. And usually I don't go off on women or anything like that because honestly, that's pretty lame as a guy. And honestly, I don't believe in saying things about people and not holding my own. I don't believe in saying things about people not holding my own. And also don't believe in saying things not to people's face. But you know, I wanted to talk about this because so often as I go out in society, I see people who look up to Brittany Renner and Chris Sean Rock. And I'm not gonna lie, both of these hoes are crazy. Like both of these hoes are crazy and I can't help but laugh like, yo, who's looking up to y'all? Who is looking up to y'all? Cause y'all, y'all just toxic bro. And it's like, why is being toxic cool? Why is being an idiot and someone who's ratchet being cool? Why is that being promoted as cool? Because it's like, I saw something about Christian Rock that was crazy. She had a baby boy, you know, shout out to the little boy, you know, shout out to him starting his life and everything like that. But she did something very crazy and very stupid. She named her little boy after her. Like she named him Christian Rock Jr., which is stupid because Christian Rock is a woman and her son is a man. So technically he can't be her, her junior because that doesn't make any sense because to be a junior to someone you have to be a man like you know i can't go around saying martin luther king senior martin luther king jr you know i could go around saying that because they're both men but you know as a woman you can't call your son your junior because you're two different genders and you know that may sound kind of controversial but it's facts and i saw that and i was like damn bro this little boy has a rough life ahead of him because you know Kids are going to make fun of him about that. They're going to make fun of him about his mom's teeth. They're going to make fun about her behavior. And it's just going to be a rough life for that kid. But, you know, that's why you got to be selective on who you choose to mate with. Because, you know, I listen to Blueface. You know, Blueface, he, he's crazy a little bit. But, you know, he's kind of talented. Christian Rock, you know, she's just strong as hell. She just got the strength of, like, five grown men. And she got a special type of strength, if you know what I mean. But, you know, when you make like a child with someone, you got to kind of be equally yoked. Like I'm religious now. So you want to kind of get with someone who's compatible with you, has similar beliefs, but they're kind of different. And you just want to kind of get someone who balances you out. You don't want to get with someone who's just going to ruin your life and make you go crazy or make your kid go crazy. Cause that can ruin your whole family lineage that can ruin your life. And it can make you do irrational, crazy stuff. Cause not just talking about Christian rock, but if you look at Brittany Renner, She's out here on podcasts acting the fool. She's twerking on on Charleston White. She's doing all this nonsense. And then when her son grows up, she's going to see this and realize, damn, my mom is wilding. And my dad, he was right for leaving her. And I'm happy for him having an NFL contract to support us because she wouldn't support us otherwise. And there's like a lot of like situations like that. Because even in like real life, as I see it, I see so many people who look up to these people. And I just, I'm not even trying to be a downer, but I don't see any future for these people because it's like, when you look up to people like that, you know, there's no hope for you. There's no hope for you because you start to talk like them. You start to act like them. And that's just not good. That's not good for your personal life. And that's not good for society. So if you're a young lady watching this, you know, watch, watch some more positive females. I don't really know that many out here in society because, you know, I don't really look up positive females or anything like that. But, you know, you can do the research and you'll find some positive female, female like, um, women to look up to and inspire to be because like I say to this day if I have a daughter you know I'm probably going to like homeschool her and get her away from this type of environment and this type of society that promotes this because you know I want her to grow up to be productive and I want her to be instilled with values and I want her to marry a good dude and things like that you know I don't want her to be this typical modern woman but you know it's crazy when you see this stuff because it's like I just I just can't believe how how crazy this is and how it's being accepted and it's like being toxic is not cool. And even if you're a dude, being toxic is not cool. Being a fake bad boy is not cool because it's like, trust me, I lived that life, like not necessarily like a like a hood dude or anything, but I used to be kind of a, a, a morally gray kind of guy. And, you know, you do get women and you do do things like that, but, you know, that stuff destroys you and eats away with you and you waste your potential doing that because it's like all that time you spent being a being a dude who goes out and stuff like that, you could have spent building yourself up and building your business, but now you're playing catch up or now you're trying to impress people that don't care about you. 
But you know, you don't want to make being toxic cool. You want to be more of a positive influence and you want to be someone who aspires to be something, man or woman. Because, you know, when you grow up, when you grow up, when you truly grow up and that frontal lobe develops in your head, you're going to look back on your life and you're going to want to just think of ways to do better. And you're going to hate how you wasted that time in your life. But, you know, being toxic is never cool. I don't know why it's promoted. I don't know why chicks are naming their sons after after them. You know, that's some single mom behavior. And, you know, I was talking to my brother about a situation like that. I'm not going to go too deep into it because it's none of my business. But we had this conversation and we have differing opinions on it. But, you know, it's interesting to talk about and interesting to discuss because, you know, we all have different styles of how we want to handle things. But, you know, we got to try to find a righteous way that that's kind of different from society because society will have you looking left when you should be looking right and looking right when you should be looking left. And it's like you don't want to be doing things ass backwards in the world because that will mess you up. And, you know. You don't want to ever waste time either. But I just wanted to talk about that because being toxic is not cool. Being toxic is not cool. Being toxic is not cool. So as my viewers, you know, don't be toxic. Be a positive force for good. But anyway, that's my video for today. Hopefully you guys like, comment, and subscribe. And you guys give me some suggestions to talk about because I'm not going to lie to y'all. Sometimes I'll be just thinking of topics to talk about that I vibe with. But I want to get more engagement from you guys. But like, comment, subscribe, and tell me what you guys think of this video. Thank you guys, and I'm out.